What's going on, everybody? I'm W. And I'm the Thick Baby. We're going to be bringing you some anime news. Got some great topics today. We have some juicy bits. The anime police made a huge arrest. The Demon Slayer is releasing a new movie. And a new anime studio is opening up, and we all know it. Let's see. For all you Dr. Stone fans out there, we have a new manga volume set to release on April 4th. We are going to be receiving the 27th volume of Dr. Stone. Pretty exciting. I am not a huge fan of the series. I mean, I haven't read the manga. I've watched the anime for like five episodes and was like, this is ridiculous. But I know you guys love it. And it's got a huge fan base, so I'm super happy that they're keeping it going for you guys. And uh, more volumes of the manga means more anime shows and episodes coming, so that'll be cool. Yeah, well, whoever likes it, I hope it's good for you. <laughs> True. We got more One Piece episodes. One Piece episode 1093 released on February 3rd. Yeah. And they actually announced the cost it took them to make that singular episode, and the rough cost, it's been costing for every episode of One Piece since they hit 1,000. Okay. It is 10 million yen per episode. How much does that translate over to America? I have no idea. Somebody hit that real quick on their phone. February 3rd, I feel like that was... What day are we on right now? I believe today is the 8th. No, today's the 4th. So that was yesterday. So I haven't watched the newest episode that just released, but they are on $3,000. $70,000 $70,000 American. Ooh. Wow, that's a lot. That's a lot. Yeah. Um, they're on their Egghead Island arc where they have Dr. Vegapunk. There's no <laughs> reveals here yet. Um, okay. But we're in the final arc of One Piece, which could be about, I hate to say it, five years. <laughs> yeah? How many yeah. episodes do you think this final arc is going to oh, be? Oh, it's going to be easily two to 300. Okay. Yeah. Um, probably more, frankly. They have to go, they're, from the way I see it, they have to go through Egghead Island. They have to figure out all the mysteries of the Void Century. They have to meet back up with dragons for the Revolutionary Army. And they have to finally travel to Laugh Tale, the final island, figure out what the One Piece is, probably destroy the world government or something, and end the series. Do so you- there's quite a bit still left to go. Do you think that the, what was the ancient people called again? I, you just said it a second ago. They were, have to find the, ah, mm. Finding the One Piece? Or what are, we, you, are you talking like the Celestial Dragons, the, the Revolutionary I don't yeah, know. Yeah, the Revolutionary Army. They are part of Nami's people, right? I'm a little bit. Robin's. Robin's people. Yeah. Okay. So Robin has studied with the Revolutionary Army during her time skip sequence was her yes. big thing. Okay. So I think she's... She's the only one who can really read the pony glyphs, yes. which are read, lead them to Laugh Tale, the final island. She's the one that's going to connect the Void Century as a historian kind of thing. That's her big goal, because they all have like their one goal. Yeah, that'll yeah. be cool. Yeah, but I, I, I think that's going gonna, that's gonna to end well. I think it's going to wrap up awesome, and I, I don't think there's much surprise left. I'm excited to know what the Void Century is, a little yeah. bit more about it, because that was one of the most interesting plot points of the show for yes. me. And also, we've got the Japanese police arrested two foreign nationals for allegedly posting images of manga stolen from Shonen Jump. Interesting. So Shonen Jump is a huge company. I mean, they do... The biggest. The biggest. They do One Piece, they do Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, everything that's big out there. I mean, Demon Slayer. Um, One of the suspects, who's 36 years old and named Samir Musa, he runs an LLC called Japan Deal World. Where oh, he damn. sells information from other pe- other people's companies that he's data mined and stuff like that, and while in prison for or questioning in jail and they're interrogating him, he stated that he purchased these photos online from a store that does leaks. He purchased it from his own store. Why is would what you I'm tell thinking. Them that? <laughs> so he's trying to like avoid getting in trouble, but then he just they started looking deeper. They started busting in for his store. They arrested his accomplice now. Yeah, why would you tell them that? And lie. Is, <laughs> he's like the worst criminal out there. But he's going to be spending some time in jail. And uh, Shonen Magazine is not going to be happy with him. They are going to bring down the hammer because I'm pretty sure he leaked uh, Dragon Ball. 
Dima? Dima. Oh, stuff, God, that's bad. Which is huge. I mean, it's yeah, going to be a big series, though. So. Yeah, so, I mean, the leaks on that probably got them a lot of clicks, though. Yeah. So. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> All right, I got Demon Slayer Kumetsu no Yaiba, the hot, I'm sorry, to the Hashira training coming to theaters February 22nd. Uh, this is, we went and saw the last movie that was between Swordsmith Village and The Sound Arc. The Sound Arc, yeah. Uh, so basically what it is, is the last two episodes of Swordsmith Village, and then goes into the first episode teaser of, uh, the Hashira training arc. As a sneak peek. Yes. So you're going to be sitting in theaters watching an hour of what you've already seen, and then 30 minutes of the new episodes, which you're going to be getting it probably a month, two months earlier than everyone else, which it's cool. Support Demon Slayer. Go see it if you'd like to. Um, seeing some of the battles in theaters were fun, but overall, give us an actual new movie. Yeah. <laughs> Quit releasing this out as a teaser just to make more money for what you're doing. The I Mogu think. Train movie was sweet to see The in Mogu theaters. Train movie was awesome. Uh, another uh, one of those? I'll get I'll put me, my button to yeah. see three times. Give me a movie <laughs> in between each season, and I absolutely go see those in theater. Uh, other than that, we got uh, season four is set to come in spring 2024. So all that's right. all we know about Demon Slayer as of right now. So not too far away then. Just a no. few months we could yeah. be looking at some episodes. And it's all the Hashira training arc, and that's going to be great. I I don't know if this is our last season or if we have one more after this. So do you think he's going to become a Hashira then? Himself? That I think the idea is the Hashiras are going to ch- help him train because it has to build up to the final battle of... Uh, the sun I wielder. Yeah, I can't even remember the name of the big bad evil guy. Yeah, he's whatever. got such a Japanese name that I don't know. I call him Mogu. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, we got Moshiko Tensai Jobless Reincarnation Two Seasons new teaser unveils April seventh return date. I watched the second season of this already. They split halfway through, and then they're going to come back uh, April seventh. I gave up on the show already. It, it got so weird. Beyond such weird. a cool show, very weird. A lot of nudity. It um, was like it started out in just this reincarnated in another world. I'm growing up as a kid. There's magic here, kind of thing. We're going on a big adventure, and then it just turned straight into I'm a teenager going through puberty, and I'm watching people have sex and all this stuff. And I was like, this started getting oh, real out there. Like the maid was wild. Yeah, was like, and oh then I God. I stuck with it because I was like, no, this is it's not going to focus on that completely. It's just going to be side. They things. did focus. The second season was just all about him trying to get his, him dealing with erectile dysfunction. That's what it was. Because <laughs> he's the like whole a season. he's like a fifty year old dude who's in a fourteen year old's body yes. or something, and he loses his first love, so he's like, I can't get it up anymore, kind of thing. It's it's ridiculous. I dropped it. Maybe there's people out there that still like it, so it's coming April seventh. Check it out. I if guess. it gets better, let us know. Yeah. I'd like to know. <laughs> the fighting scenes and the action is great. It's just that big part. Other than that, that is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, big news, huge. <laughs> Konami Digital Entertainment has announced their new animation studio, Konami Animation. Uh, they did this with a short titled Yu-Gi-Oh! Card Game The Chronicles. This is for the 25th anniversary of the card game Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, nice, nice. What does this mean going forward for Konami? There's so many Konami titles that we could see as animations coming forward. Like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Just new seasons of that. Uh, Silent Hill is a Konami title. Yeah. Animations for that would be awesome. Just a horror animation for Silent Hill. Castlevania, she already an it. animation on Netflix, but if Konami's taking it over as its own studio, we could see more coming forward with that. Uh, other than that, Metal Gear Solid. Ooh, that be a good will one. be a sweet anime. I'd I can't love think of any right off the bat, because Konami's got older titles that they don't own anymore, like uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles they had for yeah. a little while, but I think that's branched off to other companies. I think uh, PlayStation has it now. Yeah. Or a subsidiary, some of them has yeah. it. Yeah. But other than new titles coming up that we could see with them doing just new video games, new anime together, we have just... All their video games being made into animes could just be amazing. They so, have some great games. I mean, their catalog is huge. Yeah, so that's going to be awesome to see Konami do that. Hopefully, they hit it big with just releasing some huge new 
Demon Slayer esque. Like that's the new big thing. I'm gonna have to check out that uh, Yu Gi Oh trailer that you said. Just kind of see uh, what yeah. they it's, did it's with it. It's just a short, quick, like five minute thing, but it, it's Yu Gi Oh. So yeah, what is not awesome about Yu Gi Oh? I mean, Dark Magician, little blue eyes. You've got me. Yeah, but <laughs> that's all we got for some anime news. Hey everybody, I'm the Thick Baby, and I'm W. Thank you for watching our anime news segment. Did you know we have merch? There are these awesome hoodies with us on the front of them animated, and it's first come, first serve on all the sizes, so make sure you get those fast. But thanks for watching, and we'll be back next week with more anime news. Mm -hmm.